Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Today marks one week since a devastating fire tore through a building in downtown Springfield. That building remains standing. Local businesses on Adam Street, though, are trying to regain their footing after that fire. News Channel 20's Carson Gordy joins us live from the newsroom with an update. Carson. This afternoon, I met with a landlord and a business owner whose establishments were impacted by the fire. They say they're looking forward for a bounce back. Affected parties have been meeting with insurance companies. Chris Nickel owns the destroyed building as well as the neighboring building that houses Cafe Moxo and the apartments above it. He says engineers are designing a plan to protect the Cafe Moxo building from damage once demolition starts. Public Works told me that that process would not start until July. The, once the engineer and the construction guys put their heads together and the insurance company agrees, uh, at that point uh, the building can be solidified and, and we can move forward. Um, the timing on that is, is fluid. Nickel also provided an update on the three local stores that were inside the destroyed building. He says that electric quill tattoo has likely found a new building to relocate into reopen shop. But the status of the cat cafe and the bookstore Elf Shelf is unknown. Except for a small closure right here in the middle of Adams, all the other businesses in the area are trying, are mostly operating as usual. Multiple businesses on the block are open with parking available nearby. Itty Bitty Fashion Trunk has been open since Saturday, but they say that foot traffic has gone down this week following the fire. And they're trying to raise awareness that much of the block is open for business. But if, as long as we can kind of keep the word out that we're still open and, you know, we have our entrance is clear and the sidewalk is clear, that's really um, what we're trying to do at this point. Chris Nichols, uh, Chris Nickel told me that getting the businesses up and ready as soon as possible is the goal. However, that safety it will be the top priority. I'm Carson Gordy. Back to you. Thanks, Carson, for that update. The Illinois National Bank has opened a donation account for affected businesses, and you can see more information over on our website, newschannel20.com. Meanwhile, officials say summertime storms are impacting their ability to demolish the burned building on Adam Street. The Department of Public Works says yesterday's rain made the site heavier, especially the wood parts of the building. Director Dave Fuchs says the weather is a big concern when it comes to the demolition process. It is a dynamic situation, meaning it is affected by a lot of different elements. Certainly wind and rain are part of those. Uh, the wetter the, uh, the site gets, the heavier, uh, especially the wood that's involved gets. And, uh, and wind, of course, could uh, affect anything that is uh, uh, not well attached. Fuchs says the affected businesses and insurance companies have until July 4th to share their plans to the city. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.